one from other names. Yeah, that's me. Okay, good. And you're number nine. I'm number nine. Okay, who else we got? Uh, Alec Vandalovsky. Okay. And welcome everybody, it's round seven of the three on three XC Premier Australia competition 2023. And right off the jump, we got Brisbane City going up against the Tropics. Tropics, one of my favorite teams. All passion out there. It doesn't matter. They miss four or five shots in a row. They great sportsmanship. Love the game. Of course, they've got the left-handed bandit, Marcus Oliver. He's kind of the motor for them. He'll hit shots. He'll dribble penetration. Hit just about anything going left. Watch out for him. Some new faces for Brisbane City. Some young guys. It's great to see the new faces out there coming at you. Brisbane City will go with Zach Anderson. <laughs> Alec Vandenovsky. Vandelovsky. Hopefully I'm not butchering his name. And Nick DeGrossio. And they've only got three guys, so we're going to see a lot of these young fellas. They're going to need all your youth. 
to compete in this competition. There's nowhere to hide on offense or defense. We usually see the young teams come out and struggle a little bit early against the more veteran teams, but probably a good team to come out on. Brisbane City against the Tropics. You know, they're not overly big. And so far they haven't connected on a lot of two-point baskets, so you know, still looking to find their groove. A good game to ease on into it. Everybody held their eyes on Brisbane City because Illawarra on Sunday, the Illawarra Heat had some young guys that could go, and they got better as the tournament went on. They just figured out the three-on-three -three flow, how to go about it, the physicality, how to spread the floor, and they had heaps of talent. And they made the transition from five-on-five -five to three-on-three -three quick get the feeling that those young guys from the Illawarra Heat last week had played a lot of three-on-three -three with their friends. We're just about underway. Check ball, here we go. Oliver. Like I said, he's the motor. Some good D by DeGrazio. Ooh, okay, he can play. Nice, they jump out to one nothing lead. Can't get the finish with Stephen King. A Little bit long, that'll go out of bounds. He'll let that fly. Bang! That's going to be a tough cover for him. Super strong. It's DeGrazio. Stephen King. It's Oliver. Loses track of it. Did he clear it? Yes, he did. Tough cover down there, a little post seal. Alec putting that one down. Vandalovsky. I'm going to go with that. Somehow managed to hit the rim. A little help defense in the driving lane. Big Zach going there, can't get the finish layup. Mitch. For two. <laughs> Zach Anderson looking for, man, there has to be one. He gets the call. Alec for a long two. On the offensive board to Zach Anderson. Oliver. He will get a few up, no doubt about that. Follows his shot, gets it in. Zach, good spin and drive. Vandalovsky with the active hands on D. Tough shot. Marcus Oliver will knock some shots down. He is not shy if he misses a few in a row either. Step through. Pulls him off. <laughs> Marcus Oliver wanted a wanted a charge. Not gonna get that. Michael King with the long bomb. Up top, right back to Zach Anderson. He's gonna get a lot of those against this team. They're undersized. Oliver from the corner. Tries to follow his shot.
That's DeGracio. A couple of crossovers and but he's built like a little linebacker. One to the tropics. Hill and down up top. Still in it. Down low to Mitch. Ooh, tough shot. Yeah, that was only worth one. From Zach Anderson. King. The King boys. Zach Anderson. Bang. Nice stroke. Mitch trying to get to the boards. The length of Anderson. Boy, he's got that stroke going. Off to Gracio. Only one sub for both teams. Vandalowski skips it to Anderson. Good ball movement. I'm not sure where <laughs> Gracia was going. Didn't look like there was any room. Still managed to get a layup off. No love there. Alec. Gracia runs it down. Foul on the closeout. Sweet stroke of Zach Anderson. Michael King gets the reply, too. Michael King with a hustle. Good closeouts. Able to get it. Marcus Oliver. The King boys back and forth. Stephen to Michael. Alec held that follow through. Can't get the finish. Gracio cleans it up. 12-7. Who's been trying to get to 21? Gracio rattles one in for a two. Step back for a one. Follows his shot, though. Marcus Oliver keeps, has a great motor. He just doesn't stop. Anderson. Alex everywhere. Good bucket from DeGracia. Michael King bangs another two. He's two for two from that spot. Finds a way. Gracia. Ooh. It's a good block. Nick DeGracia with a block. Hot pursuit from behind. Mitch can't get the roll. Good ball movement. Extra pass. Alec finds the long range. This has been Michael King's shot. Can't go three for three from that spot. Trying to find a groove. Mitch, he's long. Anderson. Brisbane City with no subs. They played a pretty good clip. The first team off the block, so really warm into it. He's going to let this one fly, too. Give him some space. <laughs> the tropics are not shy. They will get him up.
Rebounds deflected by Brisbane City. So it'll stay the same way. It's going up, I'll tell you that. There's no doubt about that. I read the scouting report. Oliver with the rebound and the finish. Great cut, great pass. Lost vision of the ball. Or his man, or maybe even both. Little sidestep. Anderson to Grazio. Couple fakes. Zach Anderson. Oh, sorry, thought the foul was on him. It's the other way around. A little sidestep. That's left. Stephen King to Oliver. Boom. Trying to make a game of it. Look at that size difference. Bodied him down, too. Gave away. Oh, my goodness. Boy, DeGrazio goes after those blocks. Undersized height-wise, but not muscle. He's trying to get another one. He's not trying to tip it to a teammate. He's trying to spike it. That's game. Alec Vandalovsky with the two-pointer to finish at 21-13. And Brisbane City are on the books. Get their first round done. Look good, too. Be interesting to see them against a little more experienced team. And speaking of that, here come the winners of the last round. Alice Spring, Alice Spring Centrals. Take a short break is just make sure I got these numbers right. And we'll be back for the second game of the round here in Pool B.
The small guy with the rebound. Howard, that's short. Creates some space. He misses. Somehow stayed in bounds as Guangdong chases his shot, gets the finish. Small. The whale boat. He's short. Howard, Luke Howard with the muscle, but not the touch. Tommy with another two. Going to the glass, steps through. Oh, you got to go strong through the key. It's not will you get hit, it's when you get hit. You got to be able to go through those arms. He's got the stroke going today. Tries to chase it down, Patty Small. Step through, can't get the finish. Newcastle are struggling to get those finishes. Hightower with a long rebound. He wants to clear out. Again, too big, too strong, two points. LG, he lines up a two ball, is short. Whaleboat, anything in the vicinity of Winston Whaleboat is an offensive rebound or any kind of loose ball he tends to come up with. He's very quick to it. Hightower, he'll back down this much smaller Whaleboat. Left hand hook. Good D. Winston Whaleboat for a deuce. Let me try and Squeak back into the game. Tommy for a long two. Boy, that stroke looks sensational. Guess he knew what he was doing in the last round. He thought he was settling for too many jump shots, but man, he, he knows better. He's got a beautiful stroke. 13-4, Newcastle. Patty Small, this will be big. They needed that one. Hightower, nice crossover, missed the jam. I think that was an attempted jam. A lot of contact, a couple of no calls in the finish. Got to play through the contact here. Hightower going baseline, but this won't count. Didn't clear the ball. Boat. Creates space, comes up short. You're trying to chase that rebound. You have to block him out. Tommy. He is stroking that thing today. Good D. On Dong with a good drive. Kicked it out for another two. The way he's shooting it, why not? Howard with the mismatch. Good challenge by Tommy. One dong. Howard, good pass, good patience, good finish. Tommy with another long two. He slides that one in. Tough cover. This guy does not give up. This is too much length. Good credit. Wow. Well, he has been incredible in this game. Another dimension. Alice Springs with some key players not here today. Matt Koenig, a little sore from when he fell on his coccyx in the last round. And Preston Bounier, Bounier, sorry, not here. Levi Smith also not present, but look at the extra players that they've got along. Alice Springs are extremely deep. 
and these guys are starting to play with the tenacity that Alice Springs brings to the table every game defensively and getting some more potent offensive players other than the big three for Alice Springs. Good extra pass. Hightower runs it down. Spin, left hand, finish. Beautiful. That's game. Alice Springs with a new roster from previous weeks. Looks impressive once again. 21-7 over the Newcastle Steelers. Alice Springs absolutely loaded. We've got a good eight players deep. Count them if you don't have anything better to do. Woo. We'll be right back. We're back. Sonics White up against the Melbourne Magic. A little disappointing in their last showing. Joe Barker down low trying to get that lob pass. Oh, the basket is long. Let's see if the Magic can get it going offensively. Will Dang. This is his spot. Test out that two ball. That looks beautiful this evening. Long two ball. It's off the mark. Sonics White trying to get that two ball going. Can't get it. Boom. 
crazy. Thing to Joe Barker. Everyone knows his versatility. MVP of one of the rounds. What's up? Poondak with the block. Crossover. Giving away like a half a head. Patrick Terrell back into the game for Sonics White. Dang, Garden Dang. This is his spot right here. Create space. The two ball is off the mark. Skip pass, medium range, J knocked down. Dang, we'll go at the smaller defender. Wins the rebounding contest, foul, he'll go to the line for an extra one. Space loses the handle. Patrick Terrell with the mismatch. See if he can get the roll. Not as much of a mismatch. Good extra pass. This shot was successful last time. Medium range J. Joe Barker, that tough cover. Yeah, there he is. He doesn't give up much on cuts. Strong drive. Finishes on a half step, can't get the roll. Good blow by. Vasic will go the line. I'm trying to get a point. Gives them the lead. Another mishandle by the Magic. Good clear, extra pass. Dang Kent, gobble up the pass. Barker going baseline. Poondak. Vasic. He can hit this. He had a good look at it. He's not going to miss another one. One's long and one's short. Adjustment a little too strong, a little too weak. Just before the shot clock went off. Dang. Good board. Follows his shot. Good hustle and a finish. Knowing his role. Gotta shoot when you're open. Gotta make decisions quick in this game. When you stand around, size people up. The more time the defense can get set. Vasic. To Dang. Dang against Dang. Yeah, he's gotta shoot that. There's a big giant clock over there that you can glance at if you're not quite sure how long 12 seconds is. 
dang. He'll get another crack at it. He's trying to get his jumper going. Boom deck. Vasek going to test out that two ball. Parker didn't get the rebound, but he got a body on his guy so he couldn't get it. Layup. I'm sure as the night goes on, that'll be a dunk. Dribble kick. Pass was average. Goes up for the layup. Good ball movement. Barker. This is where he's tough. Great touch for the big, strong, solid man, Joe Barker. Vasek steps back. Gets the one. 8-7. Got ourselves a ball game here. Neck with a spin. Nothing he could do with that. Game's moving at a phonetic pace. Good move. If he hit that one, it would have been a tough shot made to look easy. Good footwork. Can't get the finish. It goes out to Dang. Extra pass to Joe Barker. Turn the corner. That's two. Or one. <laughs> Patrick Trail. Hey. No argument from anybody on that one. What I thought was impressive is that Patrick Terrell didn't blink an eye. He was just going after the loop ball, loose ball. He's playing to the whistle. Dang with a rebound. Got a mismatch down low. Can't do anything about that. Nowhere to hide in three on three. You're on an island. You get exposed. Dang. Let's step back. He likes this jumper. And the lay in. Always a threat to do that. Doing a much better job mixing it up this evening than he did on Sunday. Just got frustrated with his inability to knock down the two. Terrell going for the bank. Not a shot, but of course he had to shoot it before the shot clock expired. Dang. Extra pass. Hundek. Good hands by Dang. Melbourne Magic up top. 12-7. 3.46 to go. Barker loses handle. Somehow tries to regain it. That's just tremendous hustle. Defending in the circle. Dang. It didn't like it, but it rattled in. Needed that one. A little confidence booster for him. They're going to need him to hit those shots as they progress in the tournament. Poon deck. Joe Barker just willed that one. That rebound, by the way. Vasek. Goes right back to him, launches a two ball. Good quick outlet pass, dang. He liked the look of that one. Watch out if he gets in the flow. Vasek with a little hezzy going baseline. Bad pass, simple as that. Joe Barker, catch and shoot, two. It's a simple game. Looking to close this thing out, the Magic. 
Extra pass. Good contest by Joe Barker. They'll be going for a two to close it out. Here it is. It's straight. It's game. All right, Matt, thanks for joining us. The mastermind behind the three-on-three. Three. I just love the rules. You know, like, you can't contest in the circle. I love how teams have the strategy of going to half, you know, going to the baseline. Really opens it up, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. There is nowhere to hide defensively. Absolutely not. And I, uh, I had a, a very uh, crazy attempt at playing this when I first we first started, and I did not last long. I can tell you, <laughs> way too old. I was talking to Nima before the game. We just played in that game, and he was saying, "Man, these guys are expecting me to play a lot of minutes. I, I can't do it." No, no, it's tough. It's so tough. The last uh, the last time I actually attempted to play, I cracked my sternum, and the vet said that's enough. <laughs> so, um, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll stay on the sidelines. Well, I could see this being played, though, like in, in like a master's competition, you know, when your opponent is as old as you are. It would, it would really be a lot of fun, you yeah. know, like you don't have to have the pounding of running from one side of the court you know, to the other. But, you know, full-on action. I mean, it wouldn't be this fast, but it would be just as much fun. Absolutely, yeah. And, look, they do have a master's comp. I know some of the European um, countries – have got that started and we'll, we'll look to do that when um when we can and we've got enough you know enough court space and time to be able to do that but i think it's um it's going to be one of the really good things for our clubs to be able to offer some of the some of the older guys that you know get out and play play weekly um it'll be good just to come out and play a few games of three on three every week and we got a good you know every time we come out here we have a good young team that we haven't seen and Brisbane City have three guys that can hoop. Absolutely. Just like Illawarra Heat. Remember I walked in, I was like, oh, you know. Yep. Illawarra Heat, man, I'm going to miss them. Like, now look, look at these guys. Three guys. I don't think they realize how hard it is when you only have three guys. They, have, they haven't realized it. You, I mean, you see the best teams in the world. There's some in every 30 seconds. Like, you have to you have to have a break at the top level. There's no, there's no way you can play out 10 minutes. And the young guys come in all eager, and uh, they find out pretty quickly how tough it is. But... Well, as you said, we've seen some really good young teams come in, and it's been it's been good for us and good for the league to to get these young guys through that probably haven't played a lot of it at this level. Um, so it's really encouraging for us for them to see them play. And um, I mean, <laughs> little do they know that this this city team is still in the chance for fourth spot and a trip to Japan. That's the crazy bit. <laughs> I, I, either they are just ice water in their veins, or or they don't know <laughs> because they're just it's probably a bit of both. It's like they were just they're out in the playground. Just playing, but there's some things that they do well. Um, they've got, you know, good, strong penetrator, and they've got the shooting. They've got they've got some length. They're they're a bit small, but and they're quick. And they're quick, yeah. And it's kind of like they're fearless because they don't even know who the star players are. No, we've got nothing to lose. Yeah, absolutely nothing to lose. And I think that's the, yeah, you know, you've touched on it a few times over the last few weeks. That's the beauty of this is you can just come in with a couple of mates that you know and you know you play well with and you can do well and that's one of the beauties of this great sport and we're just about to underway sentinels blue going up against brisbane city and this is a test for brisbane because this is a good solid team sentinels blue bo koskak hayden ford the oldest guy in the competition, but you know, he's going to look at that. There he is. He's super active. Great D. Great hands. Hayden Ford. Bang. For two. Extra pass. DeGracio. Just before the shot clock expires. Vandalovsky. He can stroke it as well. Two each. That's a tough cover. Double dribble. 
That's the way to get away with it, though. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and great move. You can get away with the double dribble in the passing lane. Degrassio with a couple of huge blocks in their first game. Aiden Ford. Flores. That'll go out to Brisbane City. Bo couldn't pull it down. It was straight, but not enough on it. Eric. Ooh, got him in the air. Didn't take advantage of it right away. Good hustle. Alec gets his hand on it. Eric hit the game winner. Last week, a little step back by Bo. Can't get that to go. Zach Anderson. Alec trying to get it to go. Gracio with the two. Those blue got themselves a ball game here. Eric knocks it down. This kid's got a good stroke. Can't get it that time. Hayden Ford. Hook pass back to Hayden Ford. That's a good look for him. Off the mark. Mia Flores. Step back. Boom. Alec. It's a good look. Steps inside the two. See if he tries to take him down low. He's got a lot of body and got some good finishes. Soft touch, doesn't get the roll. Aiden Ford. Bow with a follow up. Wide open look. Bow. No. Hands in. Tight game. Sure is. Been all business. Absolutely. This kid's strong right here. Can't get a hand up. <laughs> Tell you, this Sentinels team are keen to uh, get a couple of wins because they're sitting in fifth at the moment. So a couple of good placings and they'll be right up in that top four. Oh, they'd be dirty with that, too. They're a good team. Yeah. Not happy. They've lost some close games, some good teams. Good hustle. Good find and finish. Mmm. Man. 9-5. This is a big bucket here. Good answer. Too good a look for this kid. They dodge a bullet. Great hustle by DeGracia. Well, behind the back shuffle for Anderson. Can't get it to go. Eric to Bo. To Hayden. He stays inbounds. Good result. That makes it a lot 9-7 looks a lot better than 9-5. Let's see if fatigue, Matt, has a factor in this one. I know these kids are young, but Sentinels are moving the ball around. And they can test the boards, and they can test drives. Extra pass, I'm sorry, extra shot ties it. Makes it 10-9. It's amazing the difference, this game with no subs, just how much slower it is than the last one. 
Yeah. Well, I notice even the good teams with the very good players, they're quick to come out too. They don't just go, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. Absolutely. And we, we find um, some of the international stuff here, they, they know their, they, they literally know their rotation. They're coming off after every play. As soon as there's a dead ball, they're off. Ooh. Excellent block. Alec had a layup if he wasn't intending on the pass. Kind of telegraphed that one. Bo Koskak. Anderson. DeGracio. His pull up. His long extra pass to Alec for a two ball. Comes up short. Mm, that one looked a little tired. That two ball came up short. I know that look. Yes. Very well. <laughs> yes. Feel his pain. <laughs> DeGracio with a good drive. That stops the drought for them. Good rebound. Good heads up play. Skip pass. DeGracio, he'll get to the rim. Extra pass. Good look for Zach Anderson. Bingo. Good ball movement. We're all tied up at 13. It's a big one for the Sentinels. Made the move. $100 move. $1 finish. Ooh. Sentinels dodge a bullet there. Anderson. Forward. 13, three and a half to go. I'm not sure if you realize these boys actually uh, Ian Stuck, some of Ian Stucker's pedigree from Templestowe College. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's helped us out with a couple of teams, which has been good. Stux does a lot with, uh, with the juniors now and I'm not sure of his exact role, but I think he's I think he's the, the head the head coach at Templestowe College, which had a lot of good young kids come out of. Well, he's been the head man for a lot of good players over the years. Old man, a wadding boy. <laughs> he got his money's worth on that one. He knew if, he knew if he finished that spin move, it was a bucket. Good heads up play. Gracio spinning. Alec gets a little bit more on this one. Big Eric down there. Wasn't going to give that one up. You can't be 40 years old playing this competition without being shifty and crafty. Got to pull all the tricks out, don't you? <laughs> I think they're all feeling it a bit in this game, though. Yeah, this game seems a lot longer than the last one. <laughs> Eric for a two. Oh, Got the good. roll. That hurt. This is for one. Good fake. That gets him back in it. Brisbane with a chance here. Like you said, there's a lot to play for. They call a timeout and let them know that. <laughs> Big rebound. Bo pulling it down, gives it to Eric. Boom. I think that's the same spot he hit the game winner from. Going to be hard from here. Gets another look at it, lines it up perfectly. Well, to come back, they absolutely needed that one. Now they need a miracle defensively. It's got game winner all over it. Tough shot. 
could contest. Bo comes up short, giving him opportunities. Anderson, long rebound. Looking a little tired, Brisbane City. One shot will do it. Aiden Ford. Just get two. There's one. Some urgency. Live at the chances. Game. There it is. There you go. Get the extra point, too. 22 16. 37 seconds left, but they got it done. That, uh, that extra point can really count sometimes, too, with the way these scores go. That 22 sometimes comes up very often in the, uh, the end results. It's just got a team over the line with those extra ones. You know. Yeah, you see the good, experienced teams. They really go for it. Then if they miss a couple, they're like, look, let's get it done. <laughs> Get that one, get it over with. Let's not get it, let's not let it get too close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Warnable. <laughs> they bring it every single round. They sure do. You know as impressive as Alice Springs extra players. Yeah, it's great to see some uh, some of the young guys come in and um, play a couple of rounds, and they did well, did very well. It was interesting to see that they were, you know, had a bigger role, free to shoot a little bit more. You know, had some of the star players, Preston Boone Gay out, Nat Koenig out. So there was a lot of opportunities that needed to be filled as those guys put the ball in the basket. They're tough defensively, but with high tower. And Tommy, yeah. <laughs> that length, they well, look big. I, they're they're good in a different way today. I think it's also testament to what Matt's doing up in Alice, because um, you know part of the the uh, the idea with our clubs is that we're we're there twenty four seven. It's not just to come and play an event like this. And he's doing amazing training with the guys on a on a weekly basis, like you know three or four times a week, uh, and getting them ready to play in these sort of events. So it's we saw that before that the guys have come in ready to go. Uh, and, and guys from, from local area up in Alice Springs, which is just a great opportunity for a you know, team to play nationally from Alice Springs. It sure is. I follow Matt on Instagram now. and I've uh, got my partner. Libby has uh, got the tape over her mouth when she sleeps, so she breathes out of her nose. That was <laughs> given to me by Matt. <laughs> He's got some great tips. <laughs> and I do a few things before I warm up when I go play play my little three on three and beat up on some unsuspecting 15 year old <laughs> funny story we were in Alice Springs a few months or a few weeks ago and I've never seen someone get so excited by an old uh, treadmill sitting on someone's front nature strip ready to go out to the tip and he goes well grab that I guess I can use I can use that in our training it's really really good for walking backwards on a broken treadmill oh yeah there you go I walk backwards and I put a rope around my waist and and uh, weight on the ground on a piece of cardboard, and I walk backwards, you know, to get those muscles going around my knees. So, uh, yeah, yeah, influenced by Matt Koenig. Thank you very much, Matt. He's um, he's an intense young fella, but very dedicated. And <laughs> some of the stuff that he's you know put his mind to and learnt over his journey is is um, is really coming out in the things he does now with the training of the Alice Springs guys, and he's. Obviously, his role with the um, Canadian national team as well. So he's very, very well respected in that area. Speaking of well respected, this Warnable Storm coming out here. They go from strength to strength, too. Alice Springs and Warnable are very deep. Yep. And they've, they've stitched up top spot, so they're pretty happy about that. Um, but I'm sure, that's, uh, sure that doesn't mean they're going to 
let these games go easily. And uh, no Matt McCarthy. No. And uh, they just seem to be able to keep throwing good, versatile bodies out there for Warnable, and they play with the same type of structure and intensity and understanding. Well, interesting, no Matt McCarthy or Jerron Jamison this game. So a very different team, but still, still strong. It would be interesting to see, I'm sure, you know, they've got that defensive intensity. They've got that strength. Uh, Derek McDonald and, and, and Blickevs, of course, shot clock winding down, so he had to shoot that one, Liam McEnany. But will they be able to score? Because, I mean, Jameson is just a bucket. Yeah. You know, you need you go a couple of times without scoring. You give him the ball, and you're going to get at least one. Or he creates for someone else. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see if they've got that. McDonald. Newcastle. Small. Whale boat. Howard. Good ball movement. Just can't get the finish. McDonald with a rainbow, too. He'll test another two ball. He rushed that one a little bit, a little rush of blood there. Terrell misses the layup. Small. <laughs> I used to see a lot of defenders like Blickhevs, you know, like just taking that challenge on every possession, every bump of the cut, everything. There's no back down in his game. McNerney to Terrell. Shot clock, got to get it off quick. Gets it on the rim. Small. Patty with a pass to Howard. That was going to be a tough finish. Derek McDonald. He's got a couple of twos under his belt already. He looked good tonight. Yeah. Whale boat. Wow. <laughs> he gets. <laughs> fouls on, well, Gray. I think it was Whale boat. McInerney. Got a little battle going on here. I think we got a little personal battle yes, going on between so. Terrell and Whaleboat. Does not look happy. You get the finish. There's that big body in McInerney. Flick as. Patty, the whale boat. That's, that's some good D to go around. And he only knows, he is north and south, isn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> it's interesting, some of these, um, some of these younger guys are dominating in the, the under 23 rankings now. Just this, this, what this series has done, it's put a whole lot of players right up to the top of the under-23s, and Winston's one of them. I think he's sitting in the, maybe the top three or four under-23s for 3x3 in Australia. So, again, okay. when those opportunities come up um, to represent the country, you know, he's going to be there to be looked at. And um, He's a great young kid, great young player, great attitude. Oh, what footwork. <laughs> That looked like a clinic. Patty to Luke, back to Patty. Trying to bank one in out there. Got to get it off. It's good communication by Derek McDonald letting him know how much was on the shot clock. I don't think he realized it. 
Got to get up on him. He's feeling it. <laughs> that looks beautiful. He's on fire tonight. Good D. Well, boat. A couple of hezzies. Putting his stake in for uh, Japan, I think. Oh, D Mac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a chance to chat to him when we were in Sydney, and that's exactly what he said. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a secret. <laughs> I'm letting it out. McInerney. Excellent pass. <laughs> Terrell with another missed layup. He's struggling. <laughs> Terrell with a couple of errors there. It's not like Warnable. <laughs> they definitely uh, look a little bit different tonight, don't they? Yeah, they do. Look at uh, Bangs, two in. Still tough defensively, though. It goes again. Look at those hands. Hard to stop. Oh, it takes the hit. <laughs> he just doesn't stop. <laughs> I mean, he just kind of takes that hit in stride when he was upset. I'm not sure what he was upset about because he just next play mentality since I've laid eyes on it. Absolutely. Just gets on with it. Good finish. But Gev goes right to the corner, picks up it's like a a one for two exchange. Patty misses, floater misses. Heads up play to the hot man. Even rebounds are hotly contested. Teams that don't have a sub, <laughs> they're, it's they're, not, they're not quick to the next play. Good D, good shot. Right shot. Look, I was looking for a cut. Ooh, step back. Dirk Winsky. Hello. Well, but woo, that was quick. Elbow with a hook. McDonald shot that one out of rhythm. I was like, he really must be hot if he knocked that one down. Patty, little Euro step. D Mac, let's cool down a little. <laughs> See if Terrell can make a layup. <laughs> He'll go the line, earn it from the stripe. Inked up like the Birdman. Winston Whaleboat inbounded for Newcastle. Going with horns. Howard, extra pass to Patty, floater, 
just yes. as the time expires. It was a terrible pass. Whale boat for a long two. Clips the front of the rim. McInerney. Patty for a two. Terrell runs it down. McInerney. Boom. Oh, he liked the look of that. He, was, thought, he thought he had a walk he off. Thought it was done. <laughs> That's way off. Long two. Man. He shot the ball effortlessly this game. Warnable. It's a different look. It's the same result. Big win. All right. We'll take a minute. We'll be right back.
We're back on board for another one. Sonics blue, Sentinels red. Flip going to blue. Patrick Emery, Luke Jameson, Daniel Trist. Jameson, Tristan, just too big. Just a little lefty soft off the glass on the offensive rebound. Breon. He can get it going for Sentinels Red. And boy, that's a tough cover down there. Daylon for his two ball. Breon's got a, a tremendous motor. Jameson. Will work and the lefty did all the hard work. Missed the sitter. Breon, that's a tough shot over Trist. He's a big body. Emery gets that pass in there eventually. Daylon to Breon. It's two balls, no good. Trist. Didn't clear it. Tried to get a warning, too. Trish just giving him that one. Why not? Until you make one. I don't care who you are. Well, maybe Steph Curry. I wouldn't just let him have one. Jameson holding him off. Gilbert. Subs out there. Well, both teams have more than three players. That's good. Good for the pace of the game. Breon putting it on the floor. There's nowhere to go. I love the fact that they didn't get a bailout call on that with the contact. Jamison's long. Tris pulling it down with one hand. Gives a good soft finish after some muscle work. Day long. Statue of Liberty. No bucket. Jameson putting it on the floor. Hands it off. In the key. Breon gets that going. That's all he needs to do is see the ball go through the net. Patrick Emery slings one up there and gets the answer. Breon wasn't intending to pass. That's how it worked out. Good idea. Clock expires. Emery had the idea. Good seal and a roll, or I should say a spin by Ben Kiln. Good footwork eventually gets down there. There's Jonah Bailey. Jameson with the spin, the soft right. Tough cover for Killen. Good finish for Breon. Jameson looking for a pass. Killen trying to get to the rim. Throws it up there. Can't get it. Breon's feeling it now. You just tell by his body language. Long rebound to Jonah Bailey. Daylon. Making a one-point game just like that. Luke Jameson. Jonah Bailey. Ben Killen misses it. Good heads up play by Luke Jameson to Emery. Just trying to make it difficult for Breon to get to the clear line. Breon's a bucket. Somehow, just dancing on the baseline is Luke Jameson. 
Six to go. Breon short. Emery. Kellen. Uno, dos. Let's see if he can get two in a row. He'll give and go. Well defended by Breon. Can you get the answer? Cannot. That'll go to red. Brown wants the screen and the roll. Gilbert, well executed play. Trist, too big. Two people have been able to stop Triss so far as the refs on three second calls. He likes to camp in there. There's another bucket. He does all his damage down there. Can't guard around the circle. I just don't think he knows the rules that well. That's the only knock on him. It's been extremely tough. For the Sonics Blues. That size is going to give some people trouble today. Trist, look at that. This is bully ball. Just ran right through Gilbert. free throws. Good heads up play by Breon. They get one exchange to Emery. Jameson. Breon. That would have been a big one. Daylon. Rainbow's one. That's going to be short. Very short. Quicks up. Going at the mismatch. Just couldn't execute the pass. Good tight game here. Their score is out. Who's going to pick up the scoring slack? Got to shoot it. Emery, good seal, Trist. And he's been an extremely tough cover in this game. Knows all the angles, teammates know how to find him. It's a big, thick body. And he makes his free throws. Sonics blew a little slow in their defensive transition. Maybe Sentinels Red can't make them pay, but the better teams will. Good D from Jonah Bailey. Well, Luke Jamison does a great job of understanding the physicality of each game that he plays in. He knows how to let up. He also knows how to take advantage of it when they're not calling those holding. He'll hold on D as much as he can. And that's how this game is played. Killing. Jameson in rhythm. Killing with a very, made it look easy, good board. Look at the size of Sonic's Blue. Jameson, boom. Killen's been boarding and putting him back. And Trist has been unstoppable. 
just the size of this team. Another board. Jamison with very good hands. Trist with the good hands to gobble it up. And to finish. Patton those rebounding stats. Jamison, short. Trying to get the 22. That extra point. Saw Warnable do it. It's going to be a tough one. Tris. Gillen. Just trying to get the win. That looks good. <laughs> that was physical. They try and get a win. Just finish it. Well, teams will struggle to board with the Sonics blue. But can they guard those young, super quick guys out in the perimeter? Can they defend the two-point shot when the other team gets it? Quick transition from defense to offense, but they get this one done. 21 before the clock expires, 21-14. Against a pretty tenacious Sentinels red. They gave them probably more than they anticipated, but they got it done. Sentinels blue are huge. We'll see how they look against one of the more experienced teams. We we're able to put a winning combination together every single round. Next up, Shragania Tropics. One of my favorites. Going up against Sentinel, Sentinels blue. All right, these guys warm up. Let's do some of these helpers that get into this competition and make it all possible. A provider of the only FIBA-endorsed rubber courts. Tiles are used at the Olympics in three-on-three -three in competition. Courts and hoops do everything. Project management, supply, install, all courts. Hoop requirements, including in-ground, height adjustable, fixed hoops. They do it all. They install Australia-wide 30 years experience in the building game as hoops and courts. Tropics be doing their best. The Sentinels will be trying to execute their game plan for later on in the tournament. We're all secretly going for the Tropics to make it close. This is a very good Sentinels blue team.
We're about to be underway. Tropics against Sentinels Blue. Hayden Ford will inbound. Eric. Hayden Ford, that's how they started last game. Not with an air ball, but with a, a two-point shot. <laughs> Off of the Tropics. A little hezzy. Draws two. Aiden a little hesitant on that two-point shot this time. The old throw it off the backboard trick. Able to finish it. Marcus throws it right to Eric. Bo. That's going to be a tough cover for Marcus Oliver. Stephen King to Marcus Oliver. He likes that shot. Ball off of Mira Flores. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Marcus throws it right to Bo. Mira Flores. That rims out. Mitch. See Mitch get his offense going a little bit more. It's good. They're going to need his offensive punch as they get a little further in the competition tonight. Stroke that thing. Mitch trying to make something go. Good finish there. Here, Flores. Does the mismatch. Fall away off the backboard. Good. And from the 45, was always going to use the glass. We'll step back. Come on. Turn down the open man. There Flores for a one. Stephen King, Mitch, throws it up there and rolls it in. Hayden Ford, it's a good look at it, comes up short. And swatted that. Oliver. Marcus Oliver with the long bomb. Mira Flores, that looks much better. Had all the time in the world to get that one off. Marcus slings another one up. Mira Flores draws two. Just the layup. <laughs> Did he get it off? Oliver. It's off the mark. Mira Flores getting a few up this game. Trying to get that offensive game going for later in the event. As we're trying to work towards four teams. Oh, not happy with that one. Guy just grabbed his arm. And check out my lip reading. Come on, pro. Play some defense. 
Well, there was no D there. Michael King. Yes. <laughs> it's that one to go. Michael loves it. And gets the extra point. There Flores. Koskak showing you that athleticism. One of the more versatile players here. He's got that perfect build. I keep harping on about good 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, strong, contest defensively, shots around the rim, rebounds well, puts it on the floor and does stuff like that. I want to see him yoke that, put the lid on it. Ford keeps it alive. It's long enough for Michael King. He gets out of the two-point line. He's trying to let one fly. Stephen King trying to find Michael King. It's a good idea. Just couldn't execute it. Good spin move. That's a quick. And he's crafty. Mitch. He's never going to get that one off. Ford. Bo is looking for a tip jam. And telegraph that one a little bit. Good quick first step, steps through. Can't get the finish. Hands in. Mayor Flores is going to work, man. He's really stepped up his offensive game from the last time we've seen him. It's one of these games, it's good to do that too. Just get yourself in the flow, get yourself in the rhythm yourself ready for the tougher games coming up. That trickles out. Michael King. There's Flora. He's getting them up. He's getting this up. It's going up. Ford. Right to the corner. Oh, trying to yam that. Michael King, he had a couple go down last game. Had two in a row. He's pushing for three. There are Flores. That's a bucket. Michael. I knew he was going to shoot that. Drive and kick. Beautiful basketball. Michael gets the two. He's feeling that jumper. See, see Bo can connect on a couple of them. He, he's trying to wave it off. <laughs> he doesn't want it. <laughs> what a baller. Flores. Good cut. Good finish. Flores putting on a basketball clinic. With the ball, away from the ball. Good 
cut, good spin. And that dance on the baseline. Michael King, he's trying to get one up. Good thing they're not counting personal fouls. Mitch would be racking them up. Bo, trying to get that two ball going. Ford, he likes the corner. Flores has been the offensive juggernaut this game. Oh, that looked personal. <laughs> Stephen King with a bomb. Hayden Ford stays in bounds. They're trying to get a couple of twos. Marcus Oliver, a little shovel pass. Says, get that out of there. Pull up jump shot. Boom. Mira Flores is feeling it. You'd love to see it when a guy's in rhythm offensively. Got it on a string tonight. It's been a pleasure to watch. Eric Mayor Flores. Trying to get a little closer to closing this thing out. There's 19. Good D. Read that one. Bo trying to put the cap on this one. Mitch. Good extra pass. Aiden Ford. Boom. Good night. That's it. 21 to 9. Sentinels Blue getting her done against the Tropics. We'll be back.
Next up, we've got Sentinels Red going up against the Sonics White. Uh, get the coin toss. I believe Sentinels Red will no. wrong again. Sonics White. We'll start this thing off. Got a little break in the action. Give you some fun facts that you can chew on for a little while. Top four teams after eight stops will qualify for the three-on-three -three XE Premier Final Playoffs in Japan, the 16th of and 17th of September. This final in Japan, as I mentioned, 16th and 17th, 17th of September, four teams from Australia. XE Series will be going. Two teams from Thailand, two teams from the New Zealand XE Series, and 16 teams from the Japanese XE Series will be participating in Japan. Looking forward to that. That'll be great. Going for some big prize money. First place, $32,000 Australian. Second place, $10,000. Third place, $5,000. Fourth place, 3,000. So playing for that money, not right. just the passion. And we're just about to get this thing started. We are underway. Bassick. Going up against Jonah Bailey. Dang. Loses the handle. Goes off of Jonah Bailey. Looking for our first score. Vasic. Dang. That would have been a tough one to grab. Dang to Terrell. Vasic with the good seal. Can't get the finish, though. It's the rebound. Good quick pull up. Jonah Bailey. Little bounce pass. And finish by Brion. Dang. Flicks one up there short. Terrell on the offensive glass. Dang with the soft touch. Breon wants the ball screen. Decides not to use it. Loses the handle. Dang. Can't get the soft touch. Good offensive rebound by Breon. Patrick Terrell. Dang, with a rebound and a pass. Very casually put up there by Vasek. It's a good little matchup here, Vasek and Brion. Daylon turns the corner. Got a little bit of a cheering section over there to Sentinels Red. Nice little James Harden step. Gets it to go. Daylon for a long deuce. It's 
game's moving quick. A little step back by Vasek. Substitutions out on the floor. Brent Scotch wearing the what number one jersey for Sonics White. Joining Vasek and Terrell. Little spin and dish. Gilbert can't get that one to go. Good help by his teammates. He hadn't cleared it. And finish. All right, Sonics white. Sentinels red with the foul. No personal fouls, although that was Gilbert who fouled him. Scotch, little mishandle. Excellent backdoor, excellent pass. Breon, finding a gap that didn't even look like it was there. Scotch with the block. Good look at it. Make some pay. Scotch exploring a little bit. Terrell, not known for a shooting, but he's getting a few up. Breon casually kisses it off the glass. Get it off in time. Well, you really should have a mental idea of how long 12 seconds is. Day long. Good strong move there. Dang. see him down no spinning and strong coming downhill Gilbert good footwork Man, he is hacked <laughs> he reared back and took a big swipe like he's carrying an axe Finish with the left. <laughs> what a foul. Keep asking. I don't know if you're going to get it, though. Breon. Showing, putting it on the floor. Takes the bump. Gets the finish. Good hands. Scotch. Good. Again, that casual putback by Vasek. Breon, I like this matchup. Good explosive move going left. We're all tied at nine. Seems very even. Vasek, boom. Looked off the screen. Breon with a rainbow. Vasic didn't like that one. Great job of following it. Dang.
Good strong move and then throws it away. Show and go, dish. Terrell puts it up nice and quick. Gilbert can't get it to go. Vasek's feeling it, boom. Kind of looking them off in an opposite direction. Shooting those. Daylon. Pull up Jay. Good strong board. Throw on the offensive glass is a monster. Jonah Bailey with a good chase down rebound. Just couldn't get it to go. Off the nose. Undersized guys that aren't used to getting offensive rebounds get a little surprised when they're that open down there. Brian, he'll use the screen and turn the corner. Takes the hint, gets the finish. Vasic. Dang, he's got to hit one of those. He has not been able to find the two ball. Good backdoor cut. Not shy. Good spin. Didn't clear. Terrell. Shot clock down to five. Bang. has shot the ball very well in this game. It's been the difference. Daylon, that's strong. Nothing Scotch could do about that. Basic, he likes this matchup. A little step back. He's feeling that two ball. Scotch with the offensive rebound and another offensive rebound. Put back, can't go. Red, Breon, trying to create some space. Good D, no bucket. Good backdoor, excellent pass. Good contest by Terrell. Rion has got a tremendous motor. That was flat. My scotch, Brent Scotch. Looking for a gap that wasn't there. Yeah. He's done it the whole game, just looked him off. He's got about eight points that way. Good crossover. Good finish, Gilbert. Good handoff, made it look easy. That's it, 21-14. Sonics white. Done professionally. Good. 
We'll be back with a good one. Alice Springs up against Warnable. Buckle up. These guys are always in the finals. We'll be right back. One of our better matchups. Here we go. Alice Springs up against Warnable. And Derek McDonald has been shooting the ball extremely well. Excellent pass to Blickevs. Tommy, he's been shooting it well too. That one was a bit of a brick. And McDonald continues to be red hot. Good quick hands by McInerney. Does he clear it? And the left is just short. High tower. This game's moving quick. They've got to get out to him. He's shooting it extremely well. LG comes in for Alice Springs, but that size of Tummy and Hightower has been trouble for opposing teams. What a bounce. Tommy shot it extremely well. Will he continue to do it? Gets a good catch and shoot situation there and he buries it. Good ball game to watch here. McDonald, this two ball is long, runs down the rebound, loses his footing. LG. Tommy. Good hustle. Good communication. Jack Terrell trying to chase that offensive rebound down. Tommy again, that looks good. LG's bringing a lot of energy. High tower. You got a tough defender on him. He walked. McInerney step back. Jumper's good. Can't stop that. Oh. 
Somehow that makes it through. Hightower out there with Guangdong. Got a good look at it. Got to knock that down. Hightower. Guangdong gets the finish. All tied up at six. Backdoor cut, not there. In the passing lanes. McInerney. Out of bounds. McDonald in for Blickevs. LG in for Tummy. Wandong. Jack Terrell. Terrell. Liam. McInerney. Good footwork. Soft touch. Play. Could it be two for one? Just bobbled it. That was a catch and shoot situation the way he's been shooting it. McInerney. He makes everything look easy. Hightower. Let's see what he's got. A little hezzy spin. Nothing. Tower to the line, trying to tie this thing up. The length of Tommy keeps that alive. High tower with a head of steam. Euro step is good. He probably saved a bucket. That was two. So. Technical foul. They've had a warning already. Back to action. Excellent executed play. Tommy down low. He's fouled. Well, we said this is going to be a good one. Alice Springs doing without Matt Koenig, Preston Boongay, and Levi Smith. And Levi was shooting the pill. He's always tough defensively. Offensively, he's come to Really step it up big when they won the tournament on Sunday. Great defense, that length by Tommy. Catch and shoot for Hightower. Offensive rebound and put back. That was big. Good pick and roll and the finish. Jack Terrell. Well executed. Very well executed. Blick gives to Terrell. Finishes it off too. Got to make these free throws. Hightower. Tough fall away.
Terrell's been good this game. Blick Evs. That looked good the whole way. Beautiful. They go to another dimension when Blickev starts shooting the two ball. High tower, the spin throws it away. Warren will get in the way a little bit. It's good hands. Liam had him beat. Guangdong. Tommy. That looks good. Is good. Man, that was a big bucket. Gets him back into the ball game. They got to switch that. Oh, good. McDonald, ball's knocked loose. Tough shot, that's gonna be short. Good D by Alice Springs, that was a big possession. Tommy for another two, big shot. Tied up at 13. Off the knee. It's like a good pass <laughs> from this defense. McInerney. Tied up at 13. Some big shots by Alice Springs to get back in it. They have been the team that have consistently gotten themselves back into some tough games. McInerney pulls up over the top. That's long. Oh, somehow McInerney keeps it alive. Throws it away to Blickevs. Oh, couple of costly turnovers. High tower. A big, strong move by High Tower. Blickes lines up his two ball. LG, the Tommy. Boom! Timely twos by Tommy. He has been tremendous. Hightower can't come up with the board. That's a foul. Huge rebound by Jack Terrell. Yes, he's come to play. Started off a little slow in his first game. He's been tremendous. Tommy. That's a good foul. Extremely good foul. That was a dunk. Good cut, throws it away. Just had to play through that contact on that one. And we're always gonna be grabbing and holding on that one. Five on the shot clock. He's got to get it up. 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 Get it up. 
How can you not know how much time is on the clock after a dead ball? Blickevs. Long two. Blickevs trying to get. Give it a two-point lead. That was a huge bucket by Blickevs. Missed it. Tommy for another big one. Good loose ball. Tough two. Oh, Hightower had the rebound, just stepped away from it. Blickevs cuts through and a finish. That was a huge miss rebound. Fall away, it's good. Tommy's been exceptional today. Jack Terrell, another missed opportunity on the glass. Two missed blockouts. Tower looking to turn the corner. Gets a piece of the rim. Warnable throws it away. That was the right idea. McInerney had the seal. Tower lays it in. Game. <laughs> Warnable. In a close one. But real tough down the stretch. A couple of missed opportunities with two rebounds that Alice Springs couldn't come up with. And then a team like Warnable, you cannot make those mental errors down the stretch. We'll be right back.
And we're back with another outstanding game to come your way. Sonics Blue versus Sentinels Blue. They'll go with Trist, Killen, and Jameson. That is an extremely big lineup. Jameson for a two. Bo with a good board. That's a good idea. Eric was exceptional for them from the offensive end. Mira Flores did a little bit of everything last game. Bo throwing it off the board, gets his own rebound. Mira Flores is long. His floater's good. Killen turned the corner. Hook shot high off the backboard. Dare I say the top of the backboard, that'll be going to. Ooh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> They both have blue in their name and in their uniform. Trist. It's fouled by. Well, I keep saying the guy's names, but it's just a team foul. It's not a personal foul. Trist, he's a big body and a tough cover. It again, Mira Flores to Hayden Ford. Emery to Trist. What a pickup that's been for them. Great footwork. And he'd be getting a touch every possession if I was running with him. Mira Flores, Trist with the board. Jameson, catch and shoot situation. He makes the most of it. Ford with a catch and shoot. He's long. Trist rolls. Give it right back to him. Jump hook, nothing Mira Flores can do. Ford from the corner. He is not worried about that air ball that he shot. Trist, Patrick Emery, Trist for a two ball. He rattles it down. Boy, he's got range like that too. Ford, as the ball ripped. He didn't clear it. Jameson, long two ball. Mira Flores, he's been crafty. Catch and shoot situation. Boom. Oh, they look good. Bo is just hammered. And no easy ones, I guess. <laughs> there are Flores. Good hustle. Ball away. Can't get it to go. Trist. Look at that matchup down there. They got to get the ball to him somehow. Man, that's a tough cover for anybody tonight, much less the smallest man in the competition. Bangs the rebound down, can't guard the. Yeah. 
Dana Flores with the footwork. He thought he was fouled. Emery. Killen turns a corner. Ford. Nope. Emery. Hayden. Bo steps back. Ah, rattles out. Spin. Left hand. Good. Beautiful. Emery. Gets it back, Jamison. Good angles, beautiful. He's out of bounds, but he's fouled him. There, Flores. Good move. Ooh, man, made that tough finish look easy. Wow, Trist. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of contact. He was able to finish it anyway. He's a beast on the boards, too. Mayor Flores turns on the Jets. We'll step back. Man, that looked effortless. Trist. Good pass, drew the D. There he is on the O boards again. Big banger. Flores dancing. Jamison. Oh! Coming downhill. Luke Jamison. That was always going to be a collision. Make some pay. Ball's deflected. Aiden Ford looks good. It's long, though. Killing. Stepping through. That's a big dude coming in. Bringing those arms up wide. High. Ford looks him off. Trist. Good pass. And finish. Continues to make those free throws. Bo's got that stroke going. Emery. Knifing through the hook shot. Nice and soft. Trist. Emery. Flores. He's got a good look at it. It's off the mark. Emery. Good 
Strong drive, can't get the roll. Great pass, Patrick Emery. Not a bad roll either. Emery for a deuce. Trist on the boards. Here comes a big banger. Swing into the middle. Draws the D. Luke Jamison. Can't make him pay. on the floor, big banger. Yeah. That size. Jameson, can't catch it clean. Two guys go with the cutter. Jameson can't make them pay. Oh, with a rebound in traffic. Ooh. That's big. Could be a, a little too late, though. Jameson sidesteps for a two. Nope. Trisk cleaning it up. He is a banger. Ford. They are so big, and Patrick Emery plays a lot bigger than his size, too. It's a good hustle by both players. Will they go for two? Luke Jameson, an opportunity to put this thing away. They have been impressive. This big lineup that they have has been dominant. Game. That was workmanlike. That's going to be tough to beat. Looking at a new lineup. back in a minute.
And we're underway. Warnable. Storm up against the Melbourne Magic. Glickevs off the mark. Joe Barker pulling it down. He's got the big task of trying to slow down Liam McEnany. Doing what he does best. Joe McDonald has shot the ball very well tonight. Glickevs with the one-legged step back. Dang. Derek McDonald with the task of an oversized offensive player. They get that switch. The shot clock was down, give and go. Great hands by Joe Barker. Blickevs with a long two that rattles out. Will Dang gets to the rim. Can't get the finish. Gives, keeps that heel up. Gets it to go. Poondak. That rims out. Jack Terrell. A couple of wayward shots here, just rimming out. Like a couple of prize fighters just jabbing and feeling each other out, feeling out their opponents. Look as for a two, that's good. I like this matchup. Will Dang. Quick transition into offense. Joe Barker with the tip to his teammates. A little misdirection. <laughs> One second left on the shot clock. Just throws it up in the air. Doesn't do much for your shooting percentage. Four two, it's a warnable. It's a good idea. The only question was, was it a foot violation? That was about it. Joe Barker, Liam McInerney with the strong contest. And that's what warnable do so well. And even with a smaller lineup that they have, smaller than they normally have, they've been able to put heat on the defensive basket. McInerney. It was just all business. Joe Barker. Good strong drive. Somehow trying to get to the rim. Boondack doesn't get it off in time. Good D by Jack Terrell. McEnany spins, fakes the spin, shoots shot. A low percentage shot for him. Dang. Magic hoping that he catches fire. Derek McDonald, floater, is off the glass. Made a tough shot look easy. Dang. To Barker. That was straight but long. McDonald. Always a threat from the perimeter. Ooh, that was a dagger. And he 
Lee's confidence is just growing with every shot. Doesn't need much time or space now. And they're looking for him, too. And that was, that was a heat check. Oh, what a play. McEnany again with another heads-up play as he takes a seat and has a break. Smaller lineup. Dang, give and go. Didn't catch it clean. Undak. It's a good. Oh, what a pass. Dang, with a good look, strokes it. Just like that, they're right back in it. The lead is one. That's a terrible pass. Got to leave it behind you. Next play mentality. This game moves so quickly. Left something behind. Terrell. McEnany. Can't get it to go. That was a big one. Good hustle. Somehow stayed in bounds. Boom. Big two. And a deflection. Dang. Good. A couple of big twos hit by the Magic. Look at Missed the layup. Great pass. Mena off the backboard. Blikevs, dang, gets the offensive rebound. Loose ball. Give it up right back to him. Dang, had to call for that one. 15-9. Just shot the eyes out. Boondack with the spin off the glass. Good D from Blikevs. Two ball. Bounces over the backboard. Pick and roll. Jack Terrell. Just inching a little bit closer. Another bank. It's two bank threes have been crucial. Dang. Step back. Two ball is short. McEnany with some big rebounds down the stretch. A couple of missed baskets by the Magic. Terrell off the board. And the score. Seventeen thirteen. Settles for the two. McInerney. Great pass. Great finish. Warnable. Just keep coming at you. Dang. Good hands. That would have been huge. I was trying to get into it. This could be a dagger. Warnable still hanging in there. They sub in the sharp shooting. Derek McDonald. McDonald with a finish. Two point game. Dang. Good strong attack. Free throw. Let's get a little more breathing space. Gets it. Good. 
McDonald didn't block out. McDonald with a finish, can't get it. Dang. It's good D. Good D again. Boom, that's huge. Ooh, another dagger. Barker. Can't get the finish. Good foul. Good sub. Terrell's a bigger body. Just in case he misses, got to come up with that board. Game on the line. Got it. I'd say that's an upset. Melvin Magic with a couple of bank threes got over the line. 21-17. big one. We'll be back with another big one right after this.
All right, we got some new blood in the finals. We got the Melbourne Magic. They're no stranger to the finals, but Sonics Blue with Daniel Trist. And he has been super today in their run to the finals. Will Dang, Luke Jameson, this thing is loaded. And one player that's played extremely well and just kind of goes under the radar all the time is Patrick Emery. And he's got that super basketball IQ. I was chatting to Ben Killen and he was just commenting on one of the comments I made earlier in the call about Patrick Emery being poetry in slow motion. But he is that. He's always in the right spot. Most unassuming player, looking player here. And the magic, thanks to a couple of bank threes that went in, gotten them a place in the big dance here. It's the overall size of the Sonics Blue that has been troubling teams. And of course, a replacement player, Daniel Trisk, has been the difference. No disrespect to the other guys, but he's been unstoppable today. Make matters worse for opponents, he's stepping out and banging down threes, too. And legendary status at Norse basketball in Sydney. Luke Jameson getting this thing started off with a quick two ball. Magic had to come from behind last game. Joe Barker. But then up. And that's feeling confident. He had two big threes to get him over the top. There's Trisk with the block. I was ready. Dang. Joe Barker. Bobbing and weaving. Shooting that shot on that. Half step, gets it off before they can get their feet set. Trisk, it's run down by Dang. Dang with a long two ball is nothing but net. Emery to Trisk. Trisk, the big dude with a soft touch. Dang, didn't like it, tried to run it down. Trisk. He'll roll, throws it up in the air. Trisk finishes it off. Emery set him up initially. Knows where everybody is. Poondack. Emery. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he wrapped him up with two hands. Trist. Well, maybe just wrapped him up with one hand. Barker trying to find the open side of the court. Way to use his body. Emery. Jameson. Catch and shoot. He'll shoot it over the top. Can't get it to go. Dang. Good pass to Barker. The length of Jameson. Nima comes in. Emery gets a, gets a cheap one. Don't see too many of those. Gets a good look. Nima 
us short. He did hit two of those. Two bank shots that went in from the three. Those were crucial. Somehow, Trist gets two hands on it and gets the finish. Dang, with a long two that rattles around and goes down. Trisk takes the hit. You don't see him complain too often. He likes, he likes the physical play, Dan Trisk. But even that was too much. Come on. Chris misses a free throw. It's the first one he's missed. Jamison being a pest. Dang, going left. Good challenge at the rim by Luke Jamison. Two-man game. Back to Jamison. His two ball is money. Sonics Blue running it like a well-oiled machine. Dang with the step back. Bingo. He's got two real big options in Luke Jamison to Trist. Too big, too strong, two points. Dang with the long ball. It was off the mark. He didn't like it the whole time. He said he's good. I don't think so. Don't think so. You need a double team. Call it when you need help. Big body. Fouls on the ground first. He thought he was going to the line. Joe Barker's fouled. Well, these guys are okay with a contact. Somebody hit me that hard, I'd be ready to fight. <laughs> Here we go. I think I spoke too soon. Emery exploring. Back door and the finish, Luke Jamison. Joe Barker. Emery. Dang's all over him. Jameson. Just before time expires. Barker. Two big bodies going at it. Big possession. It's off the mark. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who would call that one on. Who's grabbing each other the hardest? I'm not sure. Dang, going left. The contact. Misses a shot. Good no call, I thought. Trist, just too tough on the block down there. Dang, going left. Look upstairs. Goes up and under. That was a good challenge on the rim. Emery.
timeout on the floor. Thirteen ten, Sentinels blue. Defensively, it's going to be difficult for the Magic to defend Sentinels' blue size. And then getting a shot, a good shot every single time. Emery set up his teammates. And Tris and Jameson have been super active. Ben Killens hurt his knee, so that's why the Sonics blue have gone with three. Jameson on the offensive glass. That hurts. 14-10. They need a two. Barker. Good strong move. Need a stop now. Jameson. Tough two. Follows his shot. Emery. Good contest. Dang with a two ball. Can't get it. Emery with a two ball is short. Trist. Boy, even when you're trying to grab his arm, he's so strong, he gets it up and not only that, gets it in. 15-11. Heads up play. Trist upset with himself for missing the free throw, but he has been phenomenal tonight. Jameson, wide open look, cannot do that. Cannot allow him to get his feet set in rhythm. Joe Barker takes the hit, and he's fouled. It's a good foul, though. Of course it is. Patrick Emery always comes up with the smart plays, even when he's beat. When to lay off, when to foul. That was going to be a two. Makes him earn it. Emery. Can't get it. Barker turning the corner. Wow. A lot of contact, no call. Saves it. Trist to Jamison. Another catch and shoot. It's off the mark. Oh. Good cut by Emery. Fall away is short. Dang's got a good look. He turns it down. Steps, shoots a tough one, gets his own rebound, and the finish. Jameson puts it on the floor, goes up for the jam, and he's fouled. This game's not over, but they've just been too good. On the rim. Wide open looks because they put so much pressure. Dang. Boom. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. <laughs> Woo. Jameson, Trist, why not? And Trist, well, that's how you come into a tournament. Wow. 
What a performance, man. Sentinels blue. Now that's how you do it. They were exceptional. They were big. They were active. They took it to it. Been a different style that have won the competitions every single round. And that was just brute strength, getting shots inside the paint, relentless on the glass, offensive rebounds, point blank finishes, making their free throws. Excellent performance. We'll be back with the awards. Thank you. 